Hello surfboard lovers, boardshop.co.uk, surfboard review time again. Uh, a little lost creation here. You might notice that pink nose. I like to call it Magento. Um, it's what Jack Robinson rode in the Stab in the Dark competition. Uh, it was a prototype model from Matt Barlos then, but now it's the Driver 3.0. There it is. <clears throat> the Driver series has been super successful. Our whole range of like forgiving short boards with a bit more volume than you used to get in those 80s cocktail sticks, but boards that will allow you to perform in really good waves, but have enough width and uh, volume and volume distribution to paddle in average to sort of uh, normal conditions as well. Let's have a little spin around it. So as you can imagine, it's got a fair bit of nose flip there um, for performance-ish surfing. Same in the tail, nice bit of lift. The rails are pretty pared down. Uh, not too much volume running into them and then hardening up just ahead of the fins to give the board a pivoty feel and it's really nice little pulled in squash again this board is about getting the most out of performance in average to good waves in anything from thigh to overhead <coughs> set up as a thruster so you're going to ride it with a normal um, sort of mid-range thruster set nothing too raked back something that's going to give you drive and hold in everyday conditions and help you to generate a bit of speed um, as you come through the board, it's the classic um, double concave, single into double running through the fins and a little bit of V out the tail as Mr. Barlos likes to do it to keep the board loose uh, and to get it pivoting and uh, turning relatively easily. The wide point, not too far forward. So again, there's enough meat here um, to give you paddle power, but it's not too far forward to prevent the board from turning uh, um, relatively easily and getting those um, fast snappy turns you need in like powerful little beach breaks, <coughs> which is where this board is designed to surf. So it's an intermediate to advanced surfers board um, to be used in average to better waves. It'll do anything from waist to overhead, but it's, it's the kind of board that sits at the top of your quiver um, <coughs> above your hybrid um, sort of everyday board. But it's that board to break out when the conditions are good and you need something that's going to be super responsive to get and to make, make the most of staying in the pocket in those good conditions. Um, it's got a really user friendly feel to it. You, it quite often with like more performancey boards, they, you pick them up and you think, Christ, there's nothing there. They weigh nothing. It's got no meat to it. But the driver 3.0 doesn't feel like that. It feels like a really usable short board. Um, obviously, I'd have to have a 7.2 in it. But if you're average guy, um, the volume's pretty generous. 6.0 has 30.2 liters. So that kind of gives you the vibe that it's performancey, but not out of control professionals only performancey. And, uh, and of course it's got a pink nose, like me. Um, all online right now. You can part exchange old boards, buy on 0% finance, uh, or any questions at all, you know where we are. Give us a shout. Thanks for watching.